Hello YouTubers, Robinkey Jr. here, and in today's video I thought I would show you guys all of the different classes available in the Battlefield 1 Incursions Closed Alpha. Now all this is subject to change, but I thought I'd give you guys a little preview of what's available if unfortunately you don't have access to the Alpha. Well now at least you'll be able to see what all the different kits are. So uh, they're split into three different categories, vehicle operators, sol squad leaders, and soldiers. So we're going to start right off with the vehicle operator, which there can only be one of per team. So um, the first thing you guys might notice is that there are different ranks for the uh, vehicle operator as is the same for all the other classes. Now. And what this does is during the match you rank up your uh, character or class and they get all of these little upgrades. So rank 1 is for vehicle operators wrench monkey, increased vehicle repair, speed and wrench damage. You can't repair the vehicle from inside so uh, that's why this is useful. Rank 2, just a dent, driver will passively repair the vehicle at a slow rate while out of combat. Armored car, supply drop, so this would be for the armored car, deploy a medic bag and ammo crate behind the vehicle, and for the FT-17, which is the light tank, you get a smoke screen, generate a cloud of smoke to block spotting and provide visual cover. Then rank 3, sustained fire, vehicle reload speed increased, so uh, in case in, in the case of the FT-17, anti-infantry munitions that fire a shotgun-like blast F small projectiles, and for the armored car, improved primary weapon allowing direct damage to vehicles and splash damage to infantry. Now for the weapons, I'm not going to cover this too much for the simple fact that there are uh, more than one weapon available, basically you have a choice between two, and also the same for the sidearms, but I'm going to mostly focus on the gadgets. Now for gadget one, you have the bandage pouch with the vehicle operator, so it gives him a little bit of sustainability when he's not in the vehicle. And then gadget two, you obviously have the repair tool. Moving on to the squad leader. Now as you guys can see, there are two different squad leader uh, classes available, but there still can only be one per team. Now, this is one is called the Raid Leader. Now, assaults enemy position and provides forward spawns. So, rank 1, enemy target, spots the shooter when receiving bullet damage. So, if you are receiving bullet damage, uh, it would obviously spot the person that is shooting at you. Rank 2, need reinforcements, can place an additional spawn point. We'll get to this in a little bit. Rank 3, press on, getting a kill or assist adds suppression immunity and activates health regeneration. So, a very strong uh, perk or upgrade to have to your character is obviously suppression immunity and activates health regeneration which is awesome. And for the gadgets, so gadget 1 is the bandage pouch also and gadget 2, now this is where it gets very interesting, is the spawn beacon. So this is um, the only way you can spawn uh, on this particular class is with the spawn beacon. So you can't spawn directly on him but you can only spawn on the designated area with the spawn beacon and with the rank 2 you can place an additional spawn point which is very interesting. So moving right along to the second uh, class available in the squad leader slot. The control leader denies vision and picks off enemies from afar. Rank 1 on me can be spawned on if no incoming damage or suppression during the last 15 seconds. So this is the um, squad leader class who you can actually spawn on instead of, uh, instead of only being able to spawn on the beacon. So they each have their uh, advantages and each have their disadvantages. Rank 2, Smoke Curtain. Smoke grenades fired from the crossbow will cover a larger area. So obviously the crossbow is one of his gadgets. Rank 3, Sigil Awareness. Enemies within a small radius will be revealed on the minimap. So it's like if he was a walking and talking tugs or flare, which is pretty awesome. So basically you run around the map and you will be able to uh, spot enemies if they are near you with this rank. Now for the loadout. Gadget 1, he obviously has a flare gun spot, so uh, that's very useful for the flags. And Gadget 2, crossbow launcher smoke, so as you can see these are more of a support. Both of them mo mostly have support gadgets and stuff like that, so uh, you're not going to be balls to the wall killing people. That's going to be mo mostly the job of these soldiers. Now for these soldiers, this is going to make up the bulk of your squad or team. So there are five different... Uh, classes available in this specific uh, category. So the first one is the mortar support. Rank 1, pitcher, increased throwing distance of pouches and grenades. Rank 2, crater and crate, places, places a large ammo crate when a mortar is placed. And rank 3, 
super suppression increased suppression efficiency which brings me all the way down to the gadgets gadget one is the ammo pouch so very useful to have on your team although most of the time you won't live long enough to need ammo but sometimes you might and then the gadget two is the mortar he and obviously having the rank two makes, makes it so that you place a large ammo crate when the mortar is placed so very useful indeed the next one is the proximity recon provides vision through the team and finishes off enemies at a close range so rank one come closer recons placed gadgets will spot enemies around them so we'll talk about the gadgets in a little bit rank two chalk line active spotting an enemy will add a red outline visible by your squad so pretty much similar to um what it is like to spot an enemy with the periscope in the vanilla game rank three eyes on automatic active spotting of enemies you target so um i'm not too sure what this one does but uh so basically what i can i can figure out is you don't have to like actually press the spot key for this you actually just look at the enemies and it will spot them for you i don't know how effective it is but uh, I haven't really tried this class out yet, but we'll see eventually once I play more of the incursions. Gadget 1, Helmet Decoys. So obviously that's just a decoy like in Battlefield 1 Vanilla. And Gadget 2, Tripwire Bomb HE. Next, a very important class, the Trench Surgeon, which is probably uh, one of the classes that is a must pick in um, a, a squad composition because it, he is so damn useful. So Trench Surgeon revives fallen teammates and keeps them healthy. Rank 1, Morale Aura, heals friendly soldiers within a small radius. This is very cool to have. You don't even need to drop a med pack or anything, it heals them automatically. Rank 2, not on my watch. When spotting a downed ally, he will drop a smoke grenade similar to the uh, specialization which is available in the Battlefield 1 vanilla game right now, which is called uh, Concealed. I think Concealed Rescue, yes, it's called Concealed Rescue. Sorry, I almost forgot. And rank 3 on duty, receive less damage when the syringe is equipped. So this is very useful if you are going into a heavily uh, contested area and you need to revive a teammate, you might want to take that syringe out because uh, basically it'll take a lot less damage. Gadget 1, Sniper Shield. So I'm not too sure about the sniper shield, but however it does heal teammates when they're close to it, so I think that's the point of the sniper shield. but. Anyways, I'm not going to make a review on what that the gadgets are. So moving right along, gadget 2, obviously, the medical syringe. The next one, AT Assault. So this one is also very good to have and is probably a must pick in every squad composition um, because he is one of the only ones who can take care of tanks efficiently. So keeps the enemy vehicle in check with explosives. Rank 1, Flak Jagged. Reduces incoming explosive damage by 50%, which is a hell of a lot of reduction. Uh, rank 2, Firebomb, AT Grenade has an incendiary effect with, with when it explodes, so that is very interesting. I haven't had a chance to play this class yet, but hopefully I will soon. Rank 3, Limpet Charge, Charge. Charges towards an enemy when ready to deploy the Limpet Charge. So this one is kind of vague. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure what this means, but charges towards an enemy ready to deploy the Limpet Charge. So I, I really don't have a clue what this is. I would have to test it out in game. But anyways, moving on to the gadgets. Gadget 1, anti-tank grenade. And gadget 2, the limpet charge. Moving on to the final uh, class available for the soldier category. The shock assault. Goes for the, goes for the kill infantry and vehicles alike. So rank 1, room for more. Increased explosives, max ammo count can place multiple tripwires. Rank 2, Explosive Tripwire, adds an HE explosion to the incendiary tripwire, increasing damage to vehicles. And Rank 3, Explosive Hail, crossbow fires multiple HE grenades, which is absolutely insane. Gadget 1 obviously is the crossbow launcher HE, and Gadget 2 is the tripwire bomb incendiary. Now I haven't really tried it against vehicles, um, but I, I imagine it would work and the vehicles do trip off the tripwire bombs. But uh, how effective is this against vehicles? I'm not too sure, so I wouldn't rely on this one too much to actually deal with vehicles. I would much more rather rely on the AT Assault. But um, 
that's pretty much it for all of the different classes available in the Battlefield 1 Incursions Closed Alpha. Now this is all subject to change. They're probably going to change a couple of things like the primaries or even some of the gadgets or some of the uh, perk that perks that you get from ranking up your individual character or class that is. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys uh, know what this one is limpet charge charge I'd much rather be interested I'd much be interested in knowing what this is and also if you guys are interested for the uh, Battlefield Incursions if you're gonna play it when it comes out uh, what you think about it in general if you had had the chance to play it and while you're down there be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already don't forget to hit that notify bell and as always thank you very much for watching I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one